Good morning, guys. Oh, I look so tan today. <laughs> Been using sunless tanner. Um, I want to start off the vlog in true new mom style by showing you guys some stuff I got. Um, first, I've got some t-shirts to share with you guys. I'm so excited about these. So if you remember a few vlogs back, I don't know when it was, um, I collaborated with the company Thread Tank, and they sent me a couple of mom shirts that were so cute with graphics. I wear them all the time. One of them says, have kids, it's fun. I wear that one all the time, I love it. So they are launching a new Mother's Day collection and it's called Mom Power, and it's launching this week. So they sent me two t-shirts from their collection to share with you guys, so I'm gonna try them on for you and show you what they look like, but they're so cute, and I also have a discount code, of course. So if you use Clarissa15, you can get 15% off. And I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. So the first one is so cute. It says, if it involves tiny humans, never ending laundry, and bath time, don't count me in. <laughs> so this one's super cute. This is the charcoal gray heather color, and I think it's really cute. And I actually got, the first time I ordered from them, I got smalls. This time I went with mediums, just because I like kind of like a looser fit. So as you can see, it's a little bit looser. It's also a little bit longer. Um, totally cute to tuck in. Are you talking? Are you talking? I think these shirts like look so cute with denim shorts. I just got these um, from a little local boutique. And I'll show you guys, I got them in white too. But isn't that such a cute outfit? Okay, so this is the second one that I got. And this one says, my alarm clock wears footy pajamas and smiles at me when I wake up. So cute. And this one is in the um, Heather Rogue color, which I think is so cute for spring and summer. Oh, uh, I love this. It's my favorite colorway that they have. And then I just paired it with some white denim shorts that I also just picked up this morning at um, a little local boutique, but I am so ready for summertime, guys. So definitely check out Thread Tank. I will have them linked down below, these exact shirts that I got, plus use my code CLARISSA15 and you get 15% off. And you guys, they're just so soft and so cute and I absolutely love them. And if you're not a mom, they have tons of other stuff like wine shirts and dog mom shirts, like all kinds of stuff. But I, of course, love all their mommy shirts. All right, while I'm um, showing you guys things that I got, I just got the mail. This is awful. One, two, three, four, five packages, but it's like they're all small, right? So it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you, I did get one more thing. If you are local, this boutique is called Luck. So in addition to those two denim shorts I just showed you guys, I also got the cutest overalls. Should I try them on? Okay, I'll, I'll put them on for you guys because they're so cute. Um, but they're so adorable and this store is local. Um, if you are local. I think they have stuff online though now too. I'll put their website down below. So I was trying to order some stuff for Cal to wear for Easter. And I have like the hardest time finding like one complete outfit from one, one website. So I ended up ordering from a few different places. So that's why I have so many like little packages. But Crew is going to wear what Cal wore on his first Easter. So he's already set. But Cal didn't have anything. So from H&M. Guys, I also just, I just ordered a bunch of um, summer clothes too for Cal from H&M. Um, so whenever those get in, I think I'll just do a haul video. Those seem to do like pretty well. Um, so like whenever I have like little stuff, I just show you guys. But like if I have like a big order that I like do an actual like sit down video and show everything in a haul. But I figured I just have like a ra some random stuff. So these shoes, how adorable for Easter. Um, so yeah, these are from H&M. I think they were like $25 and they look really nice. So those will be his Easter shoes on this shirt. I got him is so cute. The shirt is from Gap and it's, I think it was like, they're, they're always running a sale. They're always running a sale. So I think it came out to like $14. So this little shirt, I like the fact that it's like short sleeve and kind of more casual because if I got him like a big, like a button down long sleeve or like a blazer or something, like he's only gonna wear it for Easter and he's never gonna wear it again. And I feel like this is more casual and he can wear this again. So this is the little shirt that I got him. From Carter's, I got him these little like chambray pants and then they have the suspenders like already attached to them. 
So I think these will be perfect and they'll kind of like make this more dressy. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. And these were like $17. And then I also grabbed, just because I thought this was cute and I don't, I feel like, I don't know, he might not get that much use out of it because it is like almost summertime, but this little like cardigan I thought would be nice over all of this in case it's kind of chilly that day. It's like a nice little cardigan. So that's what I got for his Easter outfit. Plus I ordered him a bow tie and like a cute little like straw hat from Janie and Jack. That stuff's not here yet. So let me know what you guys think. Where did you get your kids Easter outfits from? Then I also ordered him this little t-shirt. This was like $4 from Target. I love ordering from Target because if you have the red card, it's like free shipping and 5% off. So I just grabbed this little t-shirt. I thought that would be cute. So the day before Easter, we're doing like an Easter egg hunt at his preschool, which is actually a church. So they're going to have like a church service and like this big like Easter egg hunt. So we're going to do that on that day. So I got him this to wear for that. And then this fancy outfit is what we're gonna wear on actual Easter Sunday when we go to brunch with family. So that's his outfit, I'm super excited. And look at these overalls, how freaking cute. I like that they fit like real jeans, like they're not like big and baggy. They're so adorable. So yeah, we did a little shopping this morning. We went to the gym and then I was like, I wanna stop in that boutique. So we stopped in that boutique and I just got the two shorts and these overalls. Um, and I ordered some shirts from Forever 21, which I think that haul video is probably already up. So check that out. And then I'm probably gonna do another haul because I just ordered some more shirts from Forever 21. Just like, I don't know, their stuff is so cheap. It's like, it's ridiculous how cheap their clothing is. And I feel like when you just like want like trendy, like tops and stuff, like it's easy to just buy it from there and then not feel like you just spent a ton of money on like trendy stuff. But I thought these overalls were so adorable. I think I might wear this today, even though I'm just staying home. We could wear this, huh? We're gonna film a wine chat tonight, so this would be cute for the wine chat. Oh. Good job, where's yeah. your, oh my gosh, and you got your socks, you are such a smarty pants. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next day and we're going to the gym, surprise, but we're going as a family. David pointed out that this is our first time going to the gym as a full family. <laughs> no, I'm doing that. Normally on Saturdays, I let him take the boys to the gym, so let I- Let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you frame things. <laughs> so that I can like take a bath or whatever. We have to stop at the mailbox first because I've got four Poshmark packages to drop off. Doggy's going night night. No, Doggy's not going night night. He is, he's tired. No, he's not. He's so tired. We just had lunch. It was a nightmare. Just remember, parents, don't have lunch before nap time. To pull out. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> remember to pull out. Oh my gosh, this child is so relaxing. It is not relaxing. By the way, I totally wore the same overalls again today. They're just so cute. And then I have the other shirt from Thread Tank on today. And I kind of like, I didn't think I would wear it like under overalls, but I kind of think it's cute to just see like pieces of the graphic like that. Um, and then these cute little shoes from Target. But I think I'm gonna change now because I'm gonna film my workout try-on video, like all my favorite workout clothes for you guys. So I'm gonna go change. The boys just went for a nap. David's watching golf. How do you watch, it's so boring. Okay, so I'm baking. Oh, let me pause it. How do I pause it? Yeah, 
Oh, okay. I'm baking muffins. David, what did you just ask me? I didn't ask you. I said why, and then you said what do you think I'm pregnant? Well, because you were giving me a look. I can't even. <laughs> the look of asking you. About I can't even bake muffins. And cookies. And cookies. <laughs> Without being accused that I'm pregnant. Can I just bake? But you haven't taken a test. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. And that, why would baking... Whoa! I, four. What? Is it expired? Oh, no. no, that's 2020. Anyways, it's Sunday morning and we are... David's getting ready to go to the gym. Oh, I got Elsa on me. What do you have on you today? Moana? What's it? his name? It. I don't know. No. Bob? No, I don't know. I don't know all the characters. But... Sully? No, Sully's the blue one. Sully. It's so gross out again today. It's going to rain. I got dressed. I feel like I look super cute. David asked me if I was wearing pajamas again. Apparently all my cute clothes look like pajamas. <laughs> it's pajamas. It's not. They're just comfy pants. They're like when cute. When I look out pajamas, you're like, that's pajamas. I'm just like in the mood to like clean. I'm not pregnant. So I've just been like speed cleaning the house while the kids napped. It's been so great. Cal just woke up, crew's still sleeping. But I'll show you guys what I'm wearing because we're going to lunch like we always do on Sundays. Um, this is just a camisole from Target. It's actually maternity, but it doesn't matter. And then these pants are so cute. These are what David thought were pajamas, but they're from my Nadine West subscription and they're really, really soft and just like stretchy. And then it's a little chilly. So I have this, um, little like wrap from BCBG on. And then these shoes are from Target. They're pretty recent. I think they were in my Target shoe haul if you watch that, but I'm all about the mules right now. And just some simple jewelry. We we're gonna go to Chili's for lunch because we have a gift card um, that we got, so it's free. So I think that's what we're gonna do for lunch today. This is it. What are you doing? What are you French doing? Ooh, I think I have rewards. Oh, I don't have any room. Let's see. This is some good footage. Light's still red, lady. It's not, this isn't working, honey. We got this one. We got that one. Cal made a mess in the car. You getting it, babe? We came up with a good idea. What's that? <laughs> oh my gosh. He spilled his water all in the cup holder. That totally worked. Good job. Look, Target's hiring. $12 an hour. That's actually really good. You got minimum wage. Are you serious? That's minimum wage? No. Seems like an awful lot to me. I'd like $12 an hour. What you doing? Oh, wow. Wow, you're doing a good job. Look at all those rocks you collected. Yeah. I'll show you guys what <laughs> we got for crew. This is um my friend Haley's and she let me borrow it because her son is like three and a half now. But this is like a little, it's by Summer Infant. It's like a little outdoor playpen. And so now he's like outside with us, but I can like put toys and stuff in here. So he's like happy and content. Right, crew? You like it? You like it in here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got <laughs> crew ready for bed. Just had his bath. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog for this weekend, but I just wanted to say you guys probably all have heard about the Fisher Price Rock and Play recall, right? Like, what, 32 infant deaths in like 10 years in it, and they recalled them, blah, blah, blah. 
So I've been seeing on Facebook, I'm sure you guys have too, um, so many people are posting like, it's not fair, don't blame Fisher Price, blah, 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 which I understand, it's not Fisher Price. Fisher Price's fault because you know they stay in the instructions and everything like but at the same time all the posts that I've seen are like basically bashing the parents that lost their baby saying like it's their fault they were they didn't use common sense or they were too stupid to you know like just like basically blaming the parents and like it makes me really sad because if that were me if I were a parent that god forbid had used something incorrectly and didn't realize it and lost my child and then people are online just saying that it's my fault like I it just it really like hurts my heart for the people that lost their babies because I'm sh they did not intentionally do it like it's not their fault and I don't think it's Fisher Price's fault either, but I don't like that people like that love the rock and play are now putting blame on the parents and saying it's the parents' fault. They should have done it. They should have read the instructions. Like, I get that, but like don't just like go on social media and start blaming parents for like their child's death. Like it just really, really hurts my heart. So I just wanted to say that. I don't know what you guys think about the whole situation, but that's how I feel like like let it go, you know, Fisher Price is doing what they're doing and like let the parents like grieve. Don't start pointing fingers and blaming the parents for such a terrible tragedy. Okay, on that note, kind of ended this on a a sadder note, but I just, uh, I just, just wanted to get that off my chest because I feel for those parents, I feel bad for them and like losing your child I could not even imagine and like then having people go on social media blasting you and saying it's your fault can't okay anyways <laughs> I've got some really good videos planned for this week I've got a um, work that workout try on I filmed so I've got that coming probably on Wednesday and then I've also got a really fun wine chat coming for Friday night so I'm super excited so be sure to stick around put on your bell notifications for those and I will see you guys in my next video bye